Yeah. All right, all right, everyone. Welcome back to my uh, sports podcast. Tanzu um, Kilana, American uh, football, all right? So, yeah, Super Bowl's next week. I haven't been uh, making videos for a while because I have been sick. My whole family has been sick because of the cold weather. Everyone had caught the cold and that has been bad, but you know, I'm back since there's going to be a week left. I do want to make this video uh, talk about the Super Bowl. Uh, you know, the San Francisco 49er of the NFC and also the Kansas City Chief of the AFC. Both these two teams deserve to be in the big dance uh, since they have uh, tremendous talents and uh, the players that they got in both teams. So uh, I think we are, um, you know, going to be up against a very good Super Bowl. Uh, it's going to be a very explosive Super Bowl, I think. It's going to be, uh, I hope it live up to ex ex uh, expectation. And not like some of the past Super Bowl where it has just been kind of like a, <coughs> a disappointment. But um, yeah, this is my, my youngest baby. His name is Maximus Fukina. Say hi. 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 <laughs> so yeah. I'm trying to make him into a a sports fan too. But yeah, he say hi. 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 <laughs> but yeah, anyways, let's get to um to the videos and let's talk about the games, okay? Um you know, um San Francisco 49ers, um, they're a general by um, Shanahan, and you know, uh, I believe his dad has also played a major role in his coaching styles and his ability to do a lot of his offense and coach plays that has, you know, I, I just believe he, he's brilliant at it. Um, but you know the San Francisco 49er starting with their quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo hasn't really done much in the playoff since the 49ers they pretty much um, their offense was uh, pretty uh, <coughs> uh, was from their uh, three-headed uh, monsters and Brita Coleman and also uh, Moster uh, you guys saw what uh, Moster did in the last game with Green Bay, scored like three or four touchdown, and pretty much uh, carried the the whole team into the Super Bowl. So San Francisco, I think their their run game is going to be built on that moving forward, and also they're going to continue that trying to go against a uh, Kansas City defense. Um, their run defense is not, um, you know, they're not one of the top run defense. Uh, as uh, other players, but they also stopped Darren Henry just to 69 yards, and that's a big, that's a big something they say and they did to move themselves into to the Super Bowl. A lot of people doubt they're not going to be able to stop the Beast and Derrick Henry, but they did. So you know, I think that's going to also, uh, you know, they, their defense has also stepped up too in stopping the run. So. That's a good sign regarding the Kansas City Chief. And then we have, um, you know, San Francisco 49er, their offense around Jimmy Garoppolo. He hasn't thrown much um, these playoff. But, you know, if I believe if he go against the San Francisco 49er, he has to, to throw because if Patrick Mahomes, they start scoring a lot of points at the beginning, 49 ers not going to run, and they they're going to play catch up. And you know, in order to um, to compete and you know to outgun the Kansas City Chief, they have to rely on Jimmy Garoppolo and um, you know uh, Emmanuel Sanders and Debo Samuel. They they have to do what they got to do. Uh, we already know what Kiddo can do, um, but uh that's what they need to do uh i i just felt that the run, they just cannot win with the run game um and try to 
uh, go with a gunfire against an explosive offense in the Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs have just way too much weapons. You're trying to go with three guns that you have against uh, six, seven guns that Kansas City has as you know as 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 as, as going at it and go. Mahomes will uh, murder you all day if you if you try to play that way. But still, you got to do it. Um, you know uh, the San Francisco 49er defense has been stiller, one of the top uh, throughout the season. They got a lot of their um, healthy players back in D4, uh, DJ4, um, Nick Bosa, <coughs> Quan Alexander, and you know um, if they continue to pass rush uh, Patrick Mahomes, he might not um, have <coughs> enough time to uh, throw the ball. But the thing about San Francisco 49er is they always have issues or a problem with uh, running quarterbacks. Of course, Patrick Mahomes is not like a magician in Russell Wilson or <coughs> uh, Lamar Jackson, where they're pretty mobile in regards to their feet. But he can still do it. He, you know, he can fade, play fake, play action to the right or left. Just give him uh, four or five seconds. Uh, you know. Kansas City have so much weapons, and Tyree Hill, Sammy Watkins, Kelsey, uh, Nicole Harmon, one of them is going to get open. And, you know, if you give uh, Patrick Mahone those type of times, he's going to kill you, murder you all day. Uh, because he's just another different type of player out there in regards to... Um, one of the greatest quarterback right now at the moment in, in, in the NFL. <coughs> so, um, the Kansas City Chief, uh, they're more of an explosive team. You know, at the rim, uh, having uh, Coach Andy Reid, you guys know how Andy Reid is. He's an office and coach who draws a lot of big plays. He, uh, you know, provide his team on any buy, prepare them, make sure they execute and move on. Um, so he's pretty special in that. But not only that, but they got, I believe, the best quarterback in the game right now, and Patty Patrick Mahomes. Now that boy, he, you know, he, he's like Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre mixed together right now, and it, it's crazy just the way how he plays. And I feel that um, they're just too explosive. Too much weapons, um, you know, is going to be uh, available and open for them. Even though, um, you know, Richard Sherman might be a cover in regards to maybe Tyree Hill or Sammy Watkins, but who's going to cover uh, Cal uh, you know, Travis Kelsey, you know, the bread and butter in regards to the Kansas City Chief? Who's going to stop uh, Nicole Harmon, you know? Uh, there's just too much weapons. Too much weapons, too much uh, for uh, Patrick Mahomes to uh, real to you know to use. So I feel that this game, uh, even though Case Kansas City give 49er one, uh, the line's at 54. I believe Kansas City's gonna win. They're just you know people say defense wins the game, but yeah, of course you know uh, 49er do have a better defense, but uh, Kansas City just have a way better offense and, and way mean plus too much, you know. So you might be able to stop one or two down, but they're going to adjust and they're going to find their mans and they're going to find the X factors and they're going to go and they're going to score. And if you, they're going to make sure you're going to play catch up with them, it's going to be hard. So I feel um, Andy Ree and Patrick Mahomes, they're going to win the Super Bowl. He's going to get his first ring. It's going to be the youngest players to win, to win MVP to uh, break more records, hold more records. And this game, I believe also, it um, it's going to go over. Um, so, yeah, that's my uh, analysis to the game. I just feel that Kansas City, uh, you guys see what they did in the playoff against the Texans, came back from 24. Uh, also uh, contained it, Derrick Henry. And also came back and beat them. Uh, the 49ers is gonna. The 
49ers, I feel even though they have the defense, Patrick Mahone and Reed, they're going to adjust to it. And, you know, Andy Reed, he's just more experienced uh, than uh, Kyle Shanahan. Um, but, you know, of course, we're not defense going to be there. They're going to try to harass Patrick Mahone. But at the end of the day, they will adjust to it and they're going to take this Super Bowl. But, you know, I think it's going to be a close game. But it's going to be a very exciting game also. Okay? So, uh, please subscribe, share it, like it. And maybe after the game, I'll come back and make another video. Until then, peace, one love, and see you guys next time.